Hi, in this video we explore core strength through yoga transitions and we also have some lower back stretches. So let's meet on the mat. So let's start kneeling and you can always place a folded blanket or a towel on your mat if being um, on the knees is uncomfortable. So kneeling with knees hip width distance apart, we're going to reach the arms up. Now we don't have to bring the arms all the way up to the ceiling on a vertical line. It's okay if the arms are on a little bit of a diagonal line. And it's also okay if there's a little bit of a shrug in the shoulders. Now circle the arms and place the hands on your lower back so that the palms are facing out. So one hand on top of the other hand in your lower back. And then slowly, carefully sit down on the heels and bring the right cheek down to the mat. And then rising up, moving very slowly and mindfully, coming to kneeling, reach the arms up. Okay if the shoulders are a little bit soft. And then lowering back down, place the hands on the lower back, sit back on the heels, left cheek comes down to the mat. And rising up, reach the arms. And then coming back down, hands on the lower back, sit back on the heels, right cheek to the mat. And coming back up, reaching the arms and sitting back down left cheek on the mat one more set coming up and then slowly mindfully sitting back right cheek on the mat and last one rising up and then left cheek on the mat. Now rising all the way up, we're going to come to standing. And for standing, we'll start with Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So let's start with the feet hip width distance apart. And then press the feet down into the floor. Imagine your feet could grow roots and really press down into the floor, into the ground. And then we're going to align the joints of the body, align the ankles, the knees, the hips, and the shoulders in one straight vertical line. Align the ankles, the knees, the hips, and the shoulders in one straight vertical line. Find the gentle curve of your neck. Balance your head on top of your neck. See if you can align the ears and the shoulders. Now keeping the pelvis level and soft, bring your awareness to your belly button and pull the belly button in towards the spine. Neutral pelvis, pull the belly button in towards the spine. This is how we strengthen the inner core muscles which support the lower back. Check in with your breath. Make sure your breath is still flowing smoothly. Now we're going to do a slow mindful exercise in sitting down from standing and then standing back up. So bring your arms out and now you're going to bend your right knee down to the mat. Turn the lower right leg so it's on a diagonal behind you and then slowly mindfully sit down on the floor. And now to come back up, leaning forward, 
rising all the way back up. Second side, left knee comes down to the mat. Turn the lower left leg behind you. Slowly, mindfully sit down on the mat. And then in reverse, coming back up, rising all the way back up to standing. Let's do that again. Right knee comes down. Turn the lower right leg. Now play, pay close attention to how you're sitting down because coming back up is just the reverse action. So slowly, mindfully sitting down on the mat and now just reversing the action. The same muscles are working, just in reverse order. Coming back to with one knee on the mat and then rising all the way up to standing. Second side, left knee comes down. Turn the left leg behind you, slowly, mindfully, paying very close attention. Notice the movements you're making in order to sit. And now reverse the movement, reverse the order of the muscles to come back to kneel and then back to stand. Good job. Now let's come to a lying down position on the mat. We're going to do a couple of bridge poses. So lie down on your mat, bend the knees, place the feet flat on the mat. For this variation, we'll have the feet very wide apart. So place the feet so they're as wide apart as the width of your mat. Feet as wide apart as the width of the mat. Deep breath in on the exhalation, bring the hips up towards the ceiling for bridge pose. Bring your awareness to your hip bones and bring your hip bones straight up to the ceiling. Now imagine that there's a big yoga bolster or a big pillow between your thighs and you're going to squeeze that imaginary pillow between your thighs. At the same time, soften the lower back Soften your glutes and lengthen the back of the neck. Now slowly, carefully lower down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. And when you reach the floor, bring the soles of the feet together Badakanasana, allow the knees to open out to the sides and just release down towards the floor. One more time, <clears throat> bring the feet down to the mat, feet as wide apart as the width of the mat. Deep breath in on the exhalation, going into bridge pose, bring the hips up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're squeezing a big pillow between your thighs, soften the lower back, soften the glutes, lengthen the back of the neck. And slowly, mindfully release down to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. When you've reached the floor, bring the soles of the feet together, Parakanasana, releasing the, knee, the knees down to the floor. Beautiful. Now extend the legs long on the mat, and then hug the right knee in. Hugging the right knee into the chest. And now bring the right knee to the left side, finding the twist in the spine. Awesome, come back to center. Hug the right knee in. And we'll switch sides, so reach the right leg down on the mat. Hug the left knee in. 
Deep breath in on the exhalation. Bring the left knee to the right side, finding the twist in the spine. Roll back to center. Hug the left knee in and then release the left leg. Take a little peek at your feet. Make sure they're equidistant to the midline. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath your back so your chest is open. You can breathe freely. And then rest here for a moment in Shavasana. Hi, I hope that you enjoyed this sequence. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.